House Leader of the Third Party. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I seek leave uh, to make a statement. Is leave granted? Aye. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, just want to take a moment to raise my hands uh, to my relative, um, MLA for Vancouver Mount Pleasant, and just to acknowledge the accomplishment, the incredible work that you've done here. Uh, on behalf of British Columbians, but on behalf of our relatives across the province. I want to raise my hands to your family, to the matriarchs, future matriarchs, to the elders that are here in the room today. You brought your family member in here in a good way, a way that I don't know that these walls of the legislature had ever experienced before. They're really heavy marble, but I'm sure that they felt the weight of being brought in here with your drums and your songs and your beautiful cultures. The first to be able to do that. And I think that uh, it changed this place. And it created a better place for me to be brought in here when I was brought in here by my relatives as well. It wasn't quite so new. But I just want to, um, to acknowledge that and to acknowledge the, the staff here and the the government, uh, the opposition at the time, for making sure that that was a part of our colleagues' experience in being brought into this chamber, which has uh, so often not been so friendly to our families across the province. I was going to say that the member from uh, Vancouver Mount Pleasant was a trailblazer, and then I, I quickly looked up what trailblazer meant, and I thought that uh, it's, uh, the definition is a pioneer or a person who makes track through wild country. I thought, ah. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that the member is at home in the country. Comes from a place that's very deeply and well-rooted in territory and in place. Something that I think that this legislative assembly uh, could experience more of, frankly, is being rooted in this place. A deep sense of knowing who you are and where you're from. Having connections that are so deeply rooted that even as you're being pulled out, you're wondering just how far those roots are gonna go into the ground. So I won't say that the member is a trailblazer. Well, I just kind of sort of did. <laughs> But just acknowledging uh, as the first First Nations woman elected here, first First Nations woman to hold a seat at the cabinet table, to really know what happens at the cabinet table. At some point we can have that conversation, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> it's important that our grandmothers, our mothers, our aunties, our sisters, our nieces, our cousins have a place in this house and that the experience here is a welcoming and safe experience for Indigenous people and for Indigenous women in particular. And that's a job that we all have here as legislators and colleagues to ensure that there is a place here for our grandmothers, our mothers, our aunties, our sisters, our nieces, our cousins. Today I'm sad that we have one less paddler in our canoe. Today I'm sad that the space that's created is from someone who has a voice that is so deeply necessary in this house. And I know that the member is on her own journey, but I just wish that I didn't have to be standing here today Wishing you the best in all of your future endeavors and everything that you do. And I will think back to those times and my colleague from Cowichan Valley talked about and reminded me of your unbridled enthusiasm as the Minister of Advanced Education. I remember that as well. We will all remember that. Thank you for bringing that passion to this house. And let's ensure that this place is open and welcoming 
and safe. Es que siga.